In this script, we're going to show you how to create a timer or a delay function in uh, in a vizine. So as you can see, I've already set up uh, my script with these uh, two inputs, uh, the duration, which is an integer, uh, which will be in seconds, and the button that will start the timer. Okay, so let's go ahead and start by setting up our global variables that we'll need for this script. Uh, so the first one will be the global time. Uh, this will keep track of uh, how long our timer is running. The next global function we need is the duration, so what, how long uh, we want the timer to run. And next we'll uh, be using the onExecutePerField uh, function um, so I'm going to create a boolean that will start the code and stop it. And I'll show you in a minute how, we, how we're going to use this boolean uh, variable. And uh, the last uh, the global variable that we want is that we want to convert the integer input um, from seconds into frames because our timer is going to be run in frames but we want the user to input seconds. So I need to know the uh, refresh rate or the frames per second that the system is running on uh, to do this conversion. So to do this I'll use the uh, system uh, current refresh rate. Okay, so those are my global variables uh, set up. Um, as you can see, I've already set up, this is the code that sets up the uh, input for the seconds and the start button over here. Um, so in the, the on execute action function, that's when the user presses the start button. Um, I'll go ahead and set that up before we get into the code of the timer. Uh, so the first thing we wanna do is convert the input into, the, uh, into frames, so from seconds to frames. So I'm multiplying the input by the frames per second to get the frames. And this I'll be passing to the uh, sub that I'm going to create, which is the uh, start timer. Okay, so let's go ahead and build this uh, start timer sub now. and I'm going to receive the duration that I've passed. Okay, so the first thing I want to do in this function is reset the global time. So that's setting the timer up uh, to start from zero. And now I'm going to set the global duration. And finally, I want the timer to, to run, so I'll set the, the global boolean to true. Okay, so that's the start timer uh, set up. Um, before we do the actual timer code in the on execute per field function, uh, let's go ahead and set up the on end or the on timer end. Uh, sub. So all I need to do here is tell the, ti uh, the timer to stop running. So I'll set the global 
uh, boolean uh, run timer to false and just for the purposes of this uh, video I'm gonna print out the result to uh, to the console uh, but you can add any logic that you want here to happen at the end of the timer Okay, so once my time is uh, finished running, it's going to print this uh, message to the console, uh, which is going to show me how many frames the ti the timer ran in total. Uh, so now the last thing I need to do is set up the on execute uh, per field event. Okay, so this event runs every single frame um, that the scene is on air. Uh, so that's overkill, so I want my logic to occur only if the timer is running. Uh, so the first thing I'll do is check if the boolean uh, run timer is set to true. Okay, if the timer is running, uh, then I want to increment my global uh, global time variable. And I'll check if the uh, if I've reached my duration. Uh, if I have, then I have to call the on timer end uh, sub. Okay, so. Uh, that should be that. Let's go ahead and open the console. And I'm going to run it for two frames. And press start timer. And then after 120 frames, it's printed my uh, message. It's because I'm running at 60 frames per second at the moment. Uh, so let's go ahead and do it for one second. And there we go. If you want to debug uh, the script a bit more, in the we can also print how many frames it's counting. Uh, so we can do this over here. Now if I go ahead and run that script again, if I put it on five seconds, so it's going to print out the frame count every time. And because 5 seconds is 300 frames, when we reach 300 frames, it printed my message.